character you play, he's something of a, an elusive figure, isn't he? I mean, he doesn't speak too much. He's quite brooding. That mm -hmm. must have been a really fun role for you to kind of get your teeth into. Yeah, I, I like those characters. I'm always, um, in, in so far in, in parts that I do, I, I quite like characters that, that speak less. Uh, and, and I'm enjoying doing that at the moment. I've done that in previous roles that I've, I've, I've come across. And this one was another one where he's, he, he, he's not really a modern man. He doesn't talk a lot, doesn't philosophize over things. He just gets on with the job at hand of killing people. So I, I, I quite like that about him, that brutality. And uh, he's, uh, you, this is another uh, character for you that yields a sword. Mm -hmm. uh, you must be pretty good at sword fighting. Now, how do you reckon, if you were to go back to these times, how do you reckon you'd fare as a sword? Yields or wields? Wields. Wields is probably sword. the word I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Um, say again, sorry. Uh, just, uh, yeah, you must be a pretty good sword fighter now. I reckon I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not one to blow my own trumpet, generally, but I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at sword fighting because I've done a lot of it. Uh, and it's all it's all a, it's all about the thing is it's all very well knowing the moves but it it it's about bringing the acting part to it which really sets it alight you know you have to it's a dialogue between two people and it's a, it's a dance and I enjoy that I enjoy that movement aspect of of the work I do. So, so what attracts you to that sort of the dressing up and and sword fighting aspect sort of film is, is that the kind of because when we're kids, that whole kind of make-believe side of acting, the kind of you know fighting with your your friends and stuff, is that just something that you you're, that you've always wanted to kind of take into into your career? Was that always the intention? No, no, <laughs> I I never never really expected to be one of those people who holds a sword in the movie at all. I didn't expect to be in movies at all, actually, um, and it was one character that set that off, which was in Game of Thrones, where I. Ends, ends up being a warrior, young warrior in that, which has led to various other parts since, and definitely this one, where I, I do a lot of sword fighting, I do a lot of action sequences. Um, I enjoy it. I never would have expected to, to, to be here. Or it wasn't something I targeted. Uh, but now I'm here, I'm, I'm very happy, and I, that's one of the reasons I took this film. I wanted to go down that road more. And the first time, well, one of the first times we meet the character, he's got this six pack. And I was mm. wondering because it looked like it was it was, it was so such a six pack more mm. more like it looked more like a six pack than I can recall a six pack looking. <laughs> and I was wondering, is that just something that you just have all the time, or did you have to really do a lot of training for this film and really work on that? I um, <clears throat> I've always had not very much body fat on me, and that's all a six pack is really is that it's it's everyone's got a six pack underneath. It's just if you've got fat that covers it or not. And I've always had low body fats. But for this movie, you have to you have to train it. You have to train a hell of a lot to to get it in a place where it looks right on screen. So um, yeah, it was it was a big training regime I went down. But I wanted to do it because it, playing a gladiator, you want to look like you can fight and kill people. That's the that was the main reason. And are you good with horses as well off screen? Because every now and again I see you on screen, you seem to be. Very, you seem to be in control of, of a horse. That seems to be something that you seem to be doing a lot. I'm getting better with it. Horse riding is all about confidence. If you get on a horse and it knows that you're scared of it, it will be scared of you and freak out and it will do what it wants to do. So horse riding is always about, um, about confidence, conviction, and I've got a lot, lot better at it, actually. Again, doing this film helped. I always still find it very bizarre I don't know why, but every time I see someone on the back of a horse, I just think that's the craziest thing. It's just, if you really look at it, it's just a monkey on a horse. Yeah. It's just one animal that's learned to control another animal. It's really strange. And you've, uh, you've revisited it a, a couple of, few, well, a few times now in, in kind of history. I was wondering, where would you most like to, to go back to that you haven't already been in history in, in, sort of in cinematic terms? I'd, I, I'd like to go into the future. I don't want to go into the past. The past is grim. I want to go see what happens in the future. I want to go sci-fi next. That's where I want to go. So just very, very quickly, uh, of course, you're voicing a character in How to Train Your Dragon mm -hmm. 2. Uh, how was that experience for you? That was a, must have been a bit different to usual, I suppose. Amazing and com completely liberating, getting to do that work, getting to be in a, in a box with a microphone with a director and, and just kind of, you don't have a camera looking at you. You can turn up just having fallen out of bed and just really go for it with your voice. Um, I loved it. And I loved it, and it's, I'm really sad it's over now, 
but it's coming out soon and I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be it's gonna be brilliant actually. They've really developed that second film to a point where it steps on further from the first and, and I love it when a sequel lives up to a first and I think it will. And you don't need a six pack for that as well. No, it'd gone it'd gone by then. Cool. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's lovely to Cheers. Meet.